Okay, so this is Joseph Lebrecq, and I'm going to be demonstrating some of the uh, mobile features in Flash Builder 4.5, particularly those that have to do with the View Navigator. And I'm going to show you how to set that up in the first place, creating a new project, and then demonstrate uh, a real-world example that's being worked on, um, and how we kind of push data through views and so forth. So I'm going to create a new Flex Mobile project and you can also create an ActionScript mobile project but that's not going to have uh, nearly the amount of layout and structure to it. So we'll just call this demo. I'll install it in the default location and use the default SDK which is Flex 4.5. For mobile settings we have a number of different things that we can choose from now. We've got a blank application. We can use a view-based application, which is what we're going to do in this particular case. Or we can have a tabbed application. And it, it's really nice how they've set this up because you can just define different tabs right here. Uh, so any number of tabs that will appear in your application as sort of persistent tabs. Uh, for a view-based application, you can define what the initial view is called. You've also got um, properties on this page. You can change the uh, application settings to be full screen or not, to automatically reorient the application when the device is tilted, uh, to scale the applica application based on uh, application DPI, and um, so forth. You've also got tabs right here showing different permissions. So if we just need internet access for Google Android, we can click that. Um, if we're going to be actually writing to external storage or you know any of these things, camera access, recording audio, whatever we want, we can go through and uh, select here. And then there aren't any platform settings for Google Android. So let's hit next. Server settings, that's great right there. And build paths is also just fine. So let's hit finish. And you can see this creates a new mobile project for us. Um, and in here we've got our source folder. We've got our normal libs directory that Flash Builder creates. Here's our debug. And here's uh, the SDK, Flex 4.5. And inside of our source folder we've got our application file, which you can see here is of type view, navigation, view navigator application. Um, in some of the earlier betas for Flex uh, 4.5 it was called a mobile application. Uh, this has changed a bit. So it creates that for us and you can see here that our first view is under the views package called demo home view. So if we look in the views package right here, sure enough here's demo home view and it's just a basic view. It's of type view right here. Okay, So you can create as many views as you want in an application and you can push and pop views just like you do an array. Uh, it's using something called the view navigator which we'll see in the, uh, the full demo here. Uh, you've also got your application descriptor file. So uh, we're targeting Air 2.6 right here and uh, you know you've got your your normal kind of stuff that you can deal with. I prefer to actually open this um, in the basic text editor and change it this way. Uh, rather by going through that other bit. But, um, you know, it works just like a regular Air application. Some of the settings are obviously different. For instance, um, if we go in here and go down to the bottom, there's a whole bunch of stuff for Android manifest file that gets created when you're publishing for Android. So, let's close all these. That's basically how you set one up. Um, I'm creating this application for the University of Denver called Course Media Mobile and it's based on uh, Flex 4.5. So we've got the same sort of setup here. In our default package, I've got a CSS file and our main application file right here. And, you know, I've got a bunch of functions in here that control some, some data and things like that. Uh, you can see we're using uh, remote objects, using cold fusion, CFCs, and so forth. And um, our Let's see here, where is it? Our first view is uh, called the user view. And you can see I have uh, splash screens and, and items like that defined in here. 
uh, if we go under our views, and I've got a whole bunch of other packages here for handling images and some stuff from Adobe to do stuff with images and so forth. Um, all my assets and things like that. But I've got my general views uh, object here. So user view is the first view that we go to. And it's fairly basic. Um, if we go into the design view here, which I know a lot of people kind of shy away from, but it's actually really nice for being able to lay out uh, your application visibly. One of the nice things that they've set up for um, Flash Builder 4.5 is that if you name your different states portrait and landscape, um, they'll actually switch portrait and landscape based on that. So it works out really nicely here because I can just you know change things at will. Uh, set different properties for either portrait or landscape mode and um, you know it just works not a lot of fuss with it if we were going to well, let's do a quick demo of this actually so I'm going to go into my run configurations and let's create a new one here and we're just going to launch it on the desktop and emulate a Google Nexus one okay so here's a splash screen all right, I've got to enter my DUID, and then we get my galleries here. If I choose a gallery, um, I can scroll through this list of images, and uh, these images come up. If I want to view the metadata, I can flip it around and so forth. There's not a lot of metadata on that one. Some of these Renaissance paintings have a bit more. So yeah, it's full amount of metadata right here. So I can go in here and do this um, as much as I want. I can also go in and go into menu and um, I've got some options here, which I'll show how that's set up in a moment. But um, I can go into isolation mode and this allows me to do things like uh, rotate, zoom and pan, those sorts of things. So that's basically how the application works. Uh, to give you an overview before we go in here. So how do we go from you know the objects view to our isolation view? What do we do? Well we've got let's see when we define our view menu items that's the uh, the menu that pops up on the bottom when we hit uh, the options button on Android so I've got my isolation menu item here. I've got a galleries and an exit. And exit I put into all of my views. Uh, galleries are in some of the views. And isolation menu item, um, this is actually only within the objects view. So when we click, so if somebody chooses that, it goes to the view navigator for the application, which is defined by this dot navigator, and we push a view. So we can just push isolation view if we want to, but that's just going to take us into isolation view and it's not really going to do much of anything. What we're also going to do is push in some data. And this is how you transport data from view to view based on, you know, whatever is happening in a particular view at a particular time. So I'm pushing in isolation image and we can see by going up top here that isolation image is defined uh, when we actually select a particular type of object. It's a piece of data that's basically just a string so that I know which image to pull up from the repository here. And that's basically how it works. Um, it's a really nice system. Um, it's nice and simple. It works with the sort of um, you know flex paradigms that we already know. There's just some different concepts uh, such as views, but really it works almost like states in a way. Um, except you're talking mobile, so it fills up the whole screen and so forth and so on. But um, yeah, there's a there's a quick overview of uh, how to push data around views and how to handle views inside of uh, Flash Builder 4.5 and the Flex 4.5 SDK.